The red, white and green Italian flag waved all over Fifth Avenue as close to a million people celebrated Italian culture. I'm celebrating my heritage, actually Italian heritage, and I'm proud to be Italian and uh, actually I haven't been down here for a long time. This year's parade featured a grand marshal with ties to the Diocese of Brooklyn. Mike Strynese went to Zavarian High School and St. John's University. People lined up early along the route to catch a glimpse of the action. I think it's really good because they give us flags, shirts and candy and I think it's really entertaining. The day starts with mass at St. Patrick's Cathedral, where Italian and English were spoken. The permanent observer of the Holy See to the United Nations, Archbishop Gabriel Caccia, delivered the homily, where he talked about the one thing that has been consistent in Italian families. In spite of all the difficulties, they kept faith, faith in God. Cardinal Timothy Dolan celebrated the mass and watched the parade go by the cathedral. He said the church must always welcome new arrivals. When the immigrants came, two women welcomed them, Lady Liberty and Mother Church, and we're proud of that. But among the flags of Italy were also American flags, a sense of pride shared by many. Beautiful, they remind us they uh, all Italian and we united, and this make us uh, feel felt good to be in different country, and this is the best country you can be in. Columbus Citizens Foundation, which organizes the parade, also donates scholarships to Italian American students who need it. And so far since 1984, they have given away $40 million. In Midtown Manhattan, Katie Vasquez, Currents News. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news.